Hello everyone. When I was listening to um, last week's talk after they had the first song, I had to go back because I remember I wanted to do a video on something and I couldn't remember what it was. And I realized what it was. When uh, these two brothers was uh, with Jesus, their mother approached Jesus and asked him, can my sons, one sets at your right hand and one sets at your right hand when you go to heaven? Because the um, disciples was disputing who was the great, who's, who was greater. Well, they're trying to get Jehovah's Witnesses to do the same thing. Because you have special privileges, don't get it in your head that you are greater than the elders, the ministerial servants, because if you're a regular Jehovah Witness uh, or even an elder, think he is better because he got a position that he can control people's lives, sit in the back rooms and judge people and he loves that position does that make him worthy to take a position that can conquer and destroy or help the brothers and sisters in the kingdom hall what about the governing body should we put our trust in them now we know Jesus was the greatest teacher. That's what we learned as a Jehovah Witness. And the government body, can we truly put them in the position with Jesus? Can we truly believe they are sincere, hearted, men that's looking for with our lives to help us to gain knowledge and wisdom to to get eternal life well if you don't know the answer to that part well let me share a little light Let's take one of the members, Jeffrey Jackson. You can do this by yourself. You can Google Australia, Jeffrey Jackson. Google Australia Watchtower. Or you can go on, on a channel called Jake, J-A-K-K-E Control. Now, when you have one of the members of the government body making a fool and an ass and a liar out of himself can you really trust that man and if he was pure evil how come Watchtower or the rest of the government body didn't boot him out of the government body position if they was all honest hearted men that did take care of the um, child molesting problems are uh, not throwing children out in the streets because they don't want to be a Jehovah Witness anymore see when a person takes a title and use the title to control you should you put faith in that person when his tensions is evil not good can you compare those now eight men equal to the apostles equal 
to Jesus. No, you cannot. Jesus would not even allow none, none of his disciples to punish people for not believing in him. He would not allow his members, his disciples, to molest children or force people to have sex with them for them to have a miracle of if they was blind or they couldn't hear, they couldn't talk, or they was crippled. They wouldn't use their powers to gain something wicked like the governing body. The governing body don't have powers but they claim they were spiritual directed. They claim that they know the Bible better than the circuit overseers, better than the elders, the regular Jehovah's Witnesses. But the facts and evidence has proven many times these men are dumber than dumb. They don't know the Bible. Why they don't know the Bible? Because they use the same piece of crap book as the rest of Jehovah's Witnesses. They take the teach, teaching from that book claiming to be God's holy Bible. And they know about Raymond Franz who claimed to be a scholar who helped build the Hebrew and Greek scriptures from, t from uh, the translated from old English into the modern day English which they had translated the modern day English probably about three four times and call it better to read. I'm sorry but if you already translate from old English to modern day English why would you translate it four more times all the way up to the 2013 fake silver sword? You wouldn't. We have ripped that corrupted Bible apart so many times. How can you put faith into this religion? They said in this talk they don't want their members to be um, thinking that they are superior than anybody else. But when your superior makes your religion or you claim you're the teacher and your students realizing that you are a liar and they can prove you lie by your writings. Does that make you ignorant for still believing them? Put in faith, trust in men that deliberately makes mistakes and then later on say, oh, God didn't gave us spirit guidance so we'll, we are allowed to make mistakes we are allowed oops change our doctrines and deceive people people when Moses wrote the first five books of the Bible and others wrote the other parts of the Bible they were spiritual directed Especially when Moses was basically started with the beginning of the earth when it was created all the way to just about his death he finished his writings till Joshua took over. So he was spirit directed writing 
those first five books. Watchtower has took many books from the past from Charles T. Russell, Judge Rockefeller, Nathan Knorr, Freddie Franz, all the way up to our day. And they have no spirit directed of guiding them to lead Jehovah's Witnesses into eternal life, into their paradise, what they think they're going to get. Now, I myself, not claiming no superiority above anyone. I'm just getting you to think, to learn, and you can make your own judgment. Do you still want to believe the lies of Watchtower? Do you still believe the government body is still faithful men when facts and evidence have been out there so many years to prove they are wicked just like the other leaders in other religions. That's your choice. It's your choice to give me a good comment. It's your choice to call me a liar. That's your choice. But it's my choice to put my face out there to show people the reason why many of us has walked away from this evil organization. We have more honest in our hearts to teach you the real truth. All you have to do is do what we did. Dig deeper. We gave you all the books we gave you the facts, evidence, news, everything. And you, if you still want to be a Jehovah Witness, you are by mistaking by staying in a doomsday religion. It's going to be destroyed or it's going to take you down and you will pay just like the governing body because when you're going around bringing people into a dangerous cult because you fail to do any research and bring more people in and many more children get raped molested same thing um, thrown out of their houses die on the operating table you are blood guilty from your fingertips all the way down to your soul and you're down to your conscious when you know someone's gonna die you should be trying your best to reach out and pull them out of the fire you're pulling people into the fire to die just like other false religions the dedication what we have done is for your purpose we're the ones who got out of this false religion we're the ones that has done so much research and there's nothing left could convince us to go back and forgive the government body, forgive our elders, to forgive every member in that false religion. We cannot do that. When it is evil, corrupt, dishonest, just to help the watchtower to grow to be more evil than what they are. People, we're trying to get members out of this cult. 
will not bring people into this cult. Otherwise, we would have stayed. We would have go door to door. We could have um, be like the elders, be pure evil, to be part of their boy or man uh, chain by uh, becoming an elder or a ministerial servant. We can't do that anymore. Christ told us when your religion is a lie, it doesn't matter how many lies there is, but there's so much lies in Jehovah's religion. If there was one truth out of 50 lies, I cannot go back. If there was three truths out of 50 lies, I still can't go back. So people, you have to realize our lives and our work is depending upon us being honest to you. I don't want to die like the government body and watchtower because they love to deceive people. They love to lie to them. I wouldn't be putting my face. I wouldn't be making none of these videos. So I am more honest with you than any Jehovah Witness will be when they come to your door. I hope you get to the point or understand what I'm saying here. Put you trust in those men. It's just like putting a bomb in your house or around your body and you don't know how many more minutes or hours or seconds you have till it blows up. Because you fail one test, what Christ said, examine all the teachings that has been given to you from day one. And we know the name Jehovah Witnesses came from an evil man that predicted many books the resurrection of Abraham, Samson, and all of those. And is that the common type of man you followed in the past and still following to this day because you kept the name Jehovah Witnesses and he's the one vented that name Jehovah Witness Witnesses just like the Catholics vented the name Jehovah. If Jehovah's evil, then Jeho the name Jehovah Witnesses is evil. What part do we have to teach you for you to understand? You're serving a worthless God, a worthless false religion, to gain what? Knowledge? There isn't none. To gain wisdom? There isn't none. To get into the real paradise, you're never going to get there. If you keep following those evil men. So that's all I got to say. The power is in your hands. Open your heart to the real truth. Or stay stone dead with your heart. So nothing can penetrate your heart. That's your choice. I made my choice. Others made their choice. Your life is in your hands. You can joke around. You can play around. You can call us liars. But when the time comes, just like I said about that bomb, 
You know you got that bomb on you. You know it's about ready to explode. Because you know in the back of your head what if the ex Jehovah Witnesses are telling the truth? What if I'm serving the false God? Because if you're not thinking of that, then you want that bomb to explode and it's going to kill you. So that if could help you to find how to disarm that bomb before it kills you. Thank you and y'all have a wonderful day or evening. Bye bye.